Don't be like ants. How? What did I say? What did ants do and say? One. Oh my god, we're going live, guys. So, um... Good. <laughs> Let's get ourselves into the game. We're five seconds in. We haven't missed anything on the board, sadly. We don't have that comp had enabled, which I might. Oh. Fortunately, I am that fast, and I could sort it out myself. Uh, it is going to be Neck coming up that bounce pad. He's going to have to try and move away. He could get stuck out here, but he gets a direct rocket, and suddenly the favors aren't so out of hand for him. And um, trying to do damage onto Red. It didn't work out for him. He missed a couple of rails. He looked for that really hard pick rail at the end, but it's a tough shot. You don't really want to put your faith into it too much. And Rafa's connected. He's saying hello. Maybe he wants to cast a game or two? It'd be very early, oh, relatively early for him. Oh, this is a mega steal there by Neck. There's one still doing damage. He's holding out quite a lot. One more rail for him would be absolutely brilliant. But he's not going to make it. Although he's going to survive, which is a lot more than maybe he he would have imagined it would happen. I'm going to ask. Oh, Neck gets a couple of rails in the end. He does pick up first blood here on Furious Eyes. Remember, it is best of one uh, all the way. Um, apart from the grand finals, which I believe is best of three. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show um, Rafa all the stuff after. Maybe he'll come on and cast as well. Which would be pretty cool. He can be Ince's replacement. Forever. Well, I mean, what? Uh, aside from uh, all the distractions, Nex seems to be holding his own pretty well. He's looking for this yellow, so now full armor is decent for him. As Ron coming in with the LG, doing a ad very adequate amount of damage, but Neck has to be careful. So does uh, as Ron. He actually makes it across Mega. Doesn't take any damage. And now Neck, he's kind of running for it a little bit. Zron looking for damage, he goes down with the LG, some great tracking, and he the rocket at the end. Zron is going to manage to tie the series up. Remember, the winner of this is going to be qualifying to go through to next week's group stages. So, really, almost everything to play for. I mean, the loser will still get a second chance in the loser bracket. But you want to get it now. It's in sight. It's in reach. So much to play for. Zron just hearing Neck in the distance. Uh, Neck going to be looking for some damage from bottom, but it's in fact it's Zron who gets all the damage for himself. And he's going to go for a direct chase. Neck's going to be in trouble, looking for a rail to finish things off. But Neck's still surviving somehow. He's trying to break away. Is he going to be able to do it? Not quite! And Zron is going to take the lead. Very well played from him. He's got to be careful of that rail gun at the top. He could give away an easy one. We're looking for the damage with the rockets. Not com not going to get loads, and unfortunately for Neck, if he went out the top, he probably would have got himself an easy rail in the center area. But considering Zron didn't follow up, I think he would have got the rail anyway. Zron's got to be careful. Does he remember that he didn't pick up that rail? If he can pick up the frag here, then obviously it will really minimize his worries. And there it is, 3-1, but he doesn't get onto red armor. That was all Neck. Zron's really going to be hoping to get onto this next red. If he gets this without taking more than 50 damage, then his control is going to be looking absolutely superb. I'm kind of anxious for Neck, how he's going to respond to this. And there's the Mega. He makes the jump over. Zron doing a decent amount of damage. He does well though. Neck might have an opportunity, but taking these rails is not helping him at all. And Zron just skips away, and he's still got a slight advantage at the moment. And getting pushed away. There's the red armor. It's Ron. Well, is the red armor? There it is. There we go. So I can time it a lot better when I'm casting than I can when I'm playing. What a shame. And Ron not really willing to go into any room without a great amount of conspection before making his moves. 
Now 200-200 can go back to this uh, red armor area. And Nick, oh, he's so early for it. He gets to pick it up. Zron's damage is decent. Nick starting to fight back very well. I feel like Zron could have made a move there. He should have had solid timing. So I don't really see a reason for Nick to have got that red. I would have liked to see an aggressive jump by Zron. But uh, Zron giving his opponent some respect. He doesn't need to take too many risks. So yes, the option is also to ignore Zoot. Swamping Cavill here, he does get a rail off, it's very much needed. And also, onto Mega, he didn't pick it up, this could be an error. Sure, he's gonna, if he picks it up, he'll go to 200 health, but if he doesn't get a frag before he picks it up, he could lose out on a lot of HP. Not so bad, in fact, really not bad at all, considering. And Swan almost actually picking up a frag instead. <laughs> Couldn't get around the corner. Oh, the pain for the Ukrainian. I mean, Sron's LG on the ping he plays at is really uh, decent, to be honest. Very impressive. That's just, uh, what is it actually, 28? I mean, when he's not spamming, it looks like he's hitting a good 30, 35. So, really nice work from him. But four minutes to keep this lead. He's only got 100 health. I know, you just heard Mega getting taken, so it doesn't matter, he didn't do any damage, it's fine, you got timing. Now you can, you've can. you got an option to do uh, damage between the items. Our uh, neck drops down, Swan's in trouble, this could be getting to a one frag game, and it will. And Neck is going to try and get onto this uh, red armor. It's a big fight over here though, Zron putting pressure on. He doesn't want to give away this next frag too easily, or allow Nex to get into a lot of control. He makes a move onto him, LG from Nex runs out. He does get red, shotgun from behind. Zron could make it out of here. Oh, he almost made it out, re-extending his lead. Nex is really on the limiter at the moment. He wants the health bubble over here, he's going to be able to get it. But he needs a lot more than just that. Him, he's got, I was going to say he's got time as Ron pulls out a great move, drops down on him. Next, going to get red, just about, but his damage is really not good enough and Zron is just making it 5-2. to two. It's, this, is, this is starting to become too much. There's still time for Neck, but this is, this is really sticky. As Ron making that comeback, it, it's completely slowed things down. It's not what Neck had in mind at all coming in there. Uh, Onto the last couple of frags he got. But now that Zron's was weak, he gets red. Next major opportunity is gone. He should have maybe jumped in, looked for a spam rocket, something like that. But he doesn't want to take any risk now. And while he's got just over two minutes remaining, I think the next 45 to 60 seconds is really where we're going to see the game won or lost for Neck. Or either of them, for that matter. Okay, so there's Red. I'm going to go over to Neck. Let's have a look. How is he doing? He might get himself over to Mega. He makes a jump directly over, but all his rockets are missing. He should have had the LG out. It would have been a lot more consistent damage. And instead, well, he loses out on most of his rockets, most of his LG ammo. And now he's going to have to invest more time into stacking himself up and getting those weapons sorted, looking for rockets. But Zron can just kill the clock. It's so easy for him to just get out and get rid of another four, uh, 15, 20 seconds. And on top of that, he's landing rails, which is just killing even more time. Neck is going to have to play out of his mind if he wants to get anything done here. Needs a perfect fight for himself where Zron doesn't hit rails like that. So 6-2 to two now. I'm going to call that GG, and it looks like Zron is going to be qualifying to go through to the group stages next week. But on top of that, he's going to be in the winner bracket finals against Twister. One minute warning. Yeah, a very solid, tight game from Zron. Uh, impressive stuff. And Nick, I don't think, think he was maybe hitting the shots that he needed to hit. I think that maybe some of his plays on the items didn't work out for him so much, and he didn't really predict some of the fights that were going to happen. His run surprised him a little bit here and there. But maybe if we're lucky, we're going to get Rafa to come on. This is what we're crossing our fingers for. Do you think Nick's going to rage again? <laughs> Maybe, maybe he stopped. Maybe he realized that I I told everyone and people would have told him 
And he was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up. Nice rails, Ron. You can tell that pleased him in a little rocket at the end. Next, gonna go down. He's got the chat box open. What's he gonna say? If anything. There's GG and... Wow. Does anyone know how to translate that? Well, fair enough, you got 80 FPS, but tough titty. So Christophe does Ron qualifying to next week. Uh, I dig that. I'm very happy for him. What is it? <laughs> okay, let's see if I can find Rafa. <laughs> 